motherfucker, man. So don't shut up, will you? Talking about I owe you. Bitch, you owe me. I'm promoting you right now. Yo, let's put the nail in this coffin. I don't wanna be like this. I don't really wanna hurt no feelings. But I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Nope. You know men have heart attacks. And I don't wanna be responsible for that. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. I would never claim to be no Raven Tino, an 83 year old fake Pacino. So how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back out as soon as he goes to lift me? Please don't, you'll probably fall with me, and our ass will both be history. But then again, you finally get your wish, cause you'll be all over the street like 50 Cent. <laughs> Fucking drunk pussy, fuck you, chump. Give me a one on one, see if I don't fuck you up. Try to jump the rough riders and they cut you up. And you put Jada on a track, that's how much you suck dick in the industry. Swear that you in the streets hustling. You sit behind a fucking desk at the source, butt kissing and begging motherfuckers for guest appearances. And you can't even get the clearances, cause real lyricists don't even respect you or take you serious. It's not that we don't like you, we hate you, period. Talk about a midlife crisis, damn. Last Week he was shaking Obi Trice's hand. Now he's a buster. What the fuck's with that? Get on a track, kissing us, kissing 50s ass, and asking me what I know about indictments. Fight me, bitch. I got two cases and probation. Fight me. What do I know about standing in front of a judge like a man, ready to take whatever sentence he has? What you know about your wife slicing a wrist right in front of the only thing that you have in this world? A little girl, and I put that on her. When this is all over, I would never try to make her a star and eat off her. I don't know shit about no shopping rocks, but what you know about it? Pop shops, rocking spots, where you're the only white boy up in that bitch just ripping. Pressing up your own flyers and your stickers, sticking them bitches up after spending six hours at Kinko's. Making copies of your covers of cassette singles to sell them out of the trunk of your tracer. Spending your whole paychecks at disc makers. What you know about being bullied over half your life? Oh, that's right. You should know what that's like. You're half white. Vanilla ice, Philippines and rice. I'm eating you alive inside. Jesus Christ, if you're that much of a gangster, put the mic down. You should be out killing motherfuckers right now. Kill a motherfucker dead. Kill him dead, bitch. Shoot him in the fucking head. Go ahead, bitch. Slap my mom. Slap the fuck out of her. She can't sue you. She wouldn't get a buck out of you because you broke as fuck. You suck. You're a fucking joke. If you was really selling coke, well, then what the fuck you stop for, a dummy? If you slew some crack, you'd make a lot more money than you do from rap. You'll never have no security. You'll never be famous. You'll never know what it's like to be rich. Like the bitch, ain't it, Raymond? Here, let me break this shit down in layman's terms for you just to make sure that you can understand it's a cannabis ain't using too many complicated fucking words for you. Here, let me slow it down for you so that you can understand if I say it slower. Let it go, dog. it's over. I don't wanna be like this. I don't really wanna hurt no feelings. But I'm only being real when I say nobody wants to hear their grandfather rap. Uh-uh. No men have heart attacks, and I don't wanna be responsible for that. So put the mic down and walk away. You can still have a little bit of dignity. <laughs> Talking about I have motherfuckers calling your crib. Bitch, you ain't even got a fucking crib. You ain't even got a fucking phone. Fucking pump. Threatening to shut me down at your little fucking magazine if I come back when you and attack you. You attack me first, take it like a man, shut the fuck up and Fuck your little magazine too I don't need your little fucking magazine I got double XL's number anyway And y'all can't stand it cause they get bigger than y'all Oh, and by the way How'd I look on the VMAs When you was watching me from whatever fucking TV you was watching me from In Boston The mean streets of Boston Fucking sissy. Then you gotta scare up here, motherfucker. Suck our motherfucking dicks. Oh, and for those that don't know, don't get it twisted, yo. The source has a white owner.